Did you know that eating peanuts with certain foods can be harmful to your health? Peanuts, which are a natural elixir from the earth, have both beneficial and harmful combinations with other foods. Even healthy peanuts need to be consumed properly so that they benefit your health. Eating it with unhealthy foods can harm your body. That is why we have prepared this information to protect your health. We will tell you the three foods that are worst with peanuts and the three foods that are best with them. This video will be extremely informative and helpful. So, if you want to become a master of your health, click like and let's get started. Rich in healthy oils and proteins, peanuts are recognized worldwide as a healthy food. Today's star today is the peanut, a bean that grows in the ground. Many people think of a peanut as a nut, but it is actually a type of bean. Peanuts contain more protein than chickpeas and peas, making them an excellent source of protein. Recently, peanut butter has become incredibly popular due to its dietary benefits. Peanuts contain more healthy fats than any other bean and are rich in a variety of nutrients. Historically, peanuts have not only been used as a food, but also in traditional medicine to treat various health conditions. Peanuts were prescribed to treat gastritis and stomach pain, to moisturize the lungs to prevent pneumonia and lung disease, and to relieve swelling, stiffness, and tingling pain in the extremities due to poor circulation. However, despite its popularity in the past, it was shunned because of its high calorie content and availability. There was an old saying, work for peanuts, which meant little reward. But when you learn about its health benefits, you will love this product. Peanuts really should be consciously included in your diet to maintain your health. It is important to remember that you can't just eat peanuts by themselves. If you are consuming peanuts for health, you need to be aware of the recommended foods and the wonderful recipes you can make with them. However, did you know that even such healthy peanuts can be detrimental to your health if eaten with certain foods? Now I will tell you about three foods that are the worst with peanuts and three foods that maximize their health benefits. First of all, the most harmful product to eat with peanuts is old peanuts. You may be eating peanuts mixed with other nuts or flavored with sugar, but this can lead to the formation of carcinogens, which is a really dangerous method of consumption. Let's dispel a peanut myth. There is a preconception that peanuts are caloric and therefore bad for diets, especially for weight loss. According to the FDA, 100 grams of roasted peanuts have 567 kilocalories, while 100 grams of walnuts have 671 kilocalories, and 100 grams of almonds have 594 kilocalories, which is relatively low. Many people believe that the fat in peanuts is harmful. In reality, peanuts contain over 50 grams of fat per 100 grams, and it is this high fat content that makes peanut butter and peanut paste possible. Surprisingly, 87% of the fat in peanuts is unsaturated fats, such as oleic and linoleic acids, which are great for vascular health. Have you heard of linoleic acid before? It is what makes up our brains, so consuming it frequently helps build and strengthen brain cells, making it essential to your diet. In addition, the most important aspect is that it is good for blood vessels. If you get grease on your clothes, you usually clean them with oil, right? The same thing happens in our blood vessels. Cholesterol sticks to the walls of the blood vessels in the form of fatty deposits, and eating healthy fats, such as those in peanuts, helps to clear cholesterol from the blood vessels. Only then will the blood become clean and clear. Even if you eat healthy foods, they have to pass through your blood vessels, so taking care of vascular health is the most important thing. But the biggest problem is that peanuts contain a lot of oil, which easily becomes rancid. The rancid oil in peanuts does not eliminate cholesterol, but instead creates a sludge in your blood vessels. Moreover, there is a more serious problem. If peanuts are poorly stored, an invisible mold can hide in the peanut germ and the oil becomes rancid. This mold can proliferate and produce aflatoxin, a powerful toxin that affects the liver. 
The problem is that regardless of cooking or boiling temperature, aflatoxin does not disappear and can cause serious liver toxicity problems. Therefore, it is crucial to always consume fresh peanuts that do not have the musty odor associated with rancidity. Instead of consuming products that contain a mixture of different nuts, it is advisable to focus on consuming peanuts only. Store the peanuts you plan to eat in the refrigerator and freeze the rest. Peanuts coated with sugar and spiced lose their nutritional properties quickly, so you need to be even more careful when consuming them. So, do you always need to be concerned when consuming peanuts? No, there is a miraculous way. Recently, peanut butter has become a popular way to consume peanuts among youngsters. Are you surprised? You may be thinking that peanut butter is harmful, but this is only true for commercially sold sweet and salty products with high calorie content. You should consume homemade peanut butter made from freshly ground peanuts. Peanut butter is the best way to consume peanuts for weight loss as well as for heart and vascular health. As mentioned earlier, peanuts are rich in fats. Simply roast it in a dry pan, then grind it in a blender to get a smooth and creamy butter that is perfect for spreading on bread or as a dip. Here's an important point. When chopping peanuts, the peanut skin is very important. Inside the hard outer shell is the red peanut rind, and this is the key element. The red peanut rind contains resveratrol, which is three times more than in grapes and wine, and it's a wonderful anti-disease substance. The antioxidant properties of red peanut rinds are significant and healthy. Roasted peanuts even outperform green tea, making peanut rind extract a natural antioxidant that deservedly earned its nickname. It is even used as a raw material in pharmaceuticals. Therefore, you should include peanuts in your diet to get anti-inflammatory and protective properties for your health, as well as to fight harmful cells and maintain youthfulness. But why is peanut butter now considered essential for diets? The reason is because the fat in peanuts plays an important role in burning visceral fat inside the body. It also has an amazing effect on burning and cleansing fat deposited in the intestines. Peanuts are rich in protein, vitamins, and other nutrients, and provide an excellent sense of satiety, which is very important. In fact, studies from American medical schools have shown that people who included peanut butter in their diet had significantly better cardiovascular health and higher levels of visceral fat reduction. Therefore, all subscribers to this channel should be sure to include peanut butter in their diet. The second worst food to pair with peanuts is squid. Wait a minute, you might think that dried squid and peanuts go perfectly with beer, blending perfectly in flavor and seeming like a good pairing but it's not good for your health. What that means. In general, eating squid and peanuts together is perfectly fine. The reason is that when you consume squid with beer, the taurine in the squid helps break down the alcohol. This is good for relieving hangovers and even eliminates the odor of alcohol. However, squid is inherently high in cholesterol. Therefore, it was thought that eating it with peanuts which contain healthy fats that can dissolve cholesterol, was a good idea. Yes, it is a good choice to neutralize the beer by eating squid and to neutralize the harmful components of squid by eating peanuts. But here's the question. Is it really a good combination? Just because foods go well together, it doesn't mean they are necessarily good for our health. Here's today's key point. No matter how well you balance a food, it's the same if it's unhealthy. However, there is a healthy way to consume squid and peanuts. Simply boil the squid and dip it in homemade peanut butter. The taurine in the squid provides energy, and the high-quality animal protein from the squid, along with the excellent protein from the peanuts, create the best synergy. The second best combination with peanuts is potatoes. Peanuts and potatoes really are the perfect pairing, although it may sound a bit off-putting. Today, I will present to you a recipe for peanut and potato soup. First, prepare the peanut butter as described earlier, then blend it with the potatoes and milk to create the soup. This dish is great for diabetics and is especially effective for treating heartburn and gastritis symptoms. As we age, many people suffer from heartburn due to a weakened stomach. 
If you are unable to eat properly due to severe gastritis, you may experience dehydration, loss of strength, and even a drop in blood pressure levels. Therefore, it is very important to consume foods that are gentle on the stomach and can help treat gastritis. Peanuts are incredibly beneficial because they contain a huge amount of fiber, which protects against strong acids in the stomach by capturing sugars and preventing their absorption, which reduces the risk of metabolic syndromes, such as diabetes, by 30%. In addition, the inner peanut rind contains twice the amount of vitamin E compared to almonds, which acts as a protective shield for our cells from reactive oxygen species, exceeding the daily allowance of just 10 peanuts. However, to take full advantage of the vitamin E benefits in peanuts, vitamin C needs to be present, and this is where potatoes come to the rescue. Potatoes, which are rich in vitamin C, can be 10 times more effective than peanuts, creating an optimal anti-aging diet. Moreover, potatoes are known as a natural remedy for gastritis, as the starch they contain heals and repairs gastric mucosa damaged by stomach acid. This makes it a great combination with the dietary fiber of peanuts. This combination not only keeps your cells and organs youthful, but also makes your skin supple. Now let's look at a key point in the recipe. Potatoes are carbohydrates, and many people worry about blood sugar levels. But if you turn the starch in potatoes into resistant starch by boiling them thoroughly and then cooling them, this problem is completely solved. You can then mix these cooled potatoes with peanuts to make a homogeneous mixture. The proteins in peanuts and potatoes work together to strengthen muscles, making them a really optimal combination. The third worst combination with peanuts is, oddly enough, anchovies. You may be surprised as you often enjoy fried anchovies with peanuts as a side dish, and while it's delicious, it's not nutritionally compatible. Anchovies, known as the calcium kings of the sea, contain more calcium than milk. But calcium absorption from anchovies is unfortunately low, so they should be consumed with foods that maximize calcium absorption. While it may seem like a good idea to combine them with nuts, this actually interferes with calcium absorption from anchovies because the phosphorus in peanuts forms an insoluble compound with the anchovies calcium. This compound can strain the kidneys, potentially leading to stone formation, inflammation, and even harmful cells. Therefore, it is better to consume anchovies and peanuts separately to maximize their health benefits. The third best combination with peanuts is banana. How to enjoy this combination? It's simple. Dip bananas in the homemade peanut butter I previously introduced, and you have a top-notch health tonic. Knowing how this combination is good for your body will further enhance its effects. First of all, bananas are often considered a leading diet food because they are rich in dietary fiber, which helps keep you feeling satiated for a long time. In addition, bananas are rich in nutrients such as potassium and magnesium, which are directly absorbed by the muscles when consumed, quickly restoring energy levels. Potassium also helps to flush sodium out of the body, enhancing the vasodilating effects of peanuts, creating a fantastic synergistic effect. The magnesium in bananas has another amazing benefit. It can ease depression and increase feelings of happiness. This is where it pairs perfectly with peanuts. The probiotic fibers in peanuts stimulate the gut microflora, which not only helps with bowel movements, but also connects nerve fibers between the gut and brain to prevent depression and support mental health. It's important to consume bananas and peanuts together. You can mix bananas with a handful of peanuts or simply dip bananas in homemade peanut butter for a delicious and healthy treat. To summarize everything we've learned about combining peanuts with other foods, first, it's important to avoid old rancid peanuts, as they can be very dangerous. Always choose fresh peanuts. The best way to enjoy peanuts is to crush them along with the red peel to make homemade peanut butter. You can use it as a salad dressing or a dip for healthy vegetables to improve digestion and health benefits. Also, instead of eating peanuts with calamari, it is better to consume them separately. But combining peanuts with potatoes is highly recommended. 
Avoid combining peanuts with anchovies and instead enjoy them with bananas for a tonic effect that you should definitely include in your diet. What are your thoughts on the subject? Do you agree with these statements? If there are any questions, ask them in the comments. More information on this topic can be found at the links in the description below this video and on our channel. Subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Please like and share this video with your friends. Thanks to our sponsors for their support. I eagerly await your comments and encourage you to watch these useful videos.